Hello again friends, uh, we are talking about the bioinformatics practical and we have taken the 8 different questions and we need to answer the questions and we have answered till uh, five, uh, the 5th question, now let's look at the 6th question we need to predict the secondary structure of a human peon protein so this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to uh, get the prediction of a secondary structure of a protein so the protein we take as a human prion protein so we have taken the faster format of the protein from the NCBI we retrieve the sequence now we are having the sequence to us now utilizing that sequence how can we get the secondary structure uh, from the bioinformatics study so let's say let us write secondary structure prediction and it will take us to this link so click on the first link which is called the secondary structure prediction by XPACI or SIB Bioinformatics uh, XPACI is a very very nice site because it will take you to various tools for for proteins as well as nucleotides now in this case whatever we are getting here is the secondary prediction server which is called APSSP or CFSSP we can take any one of that uh, this is a software Colis, but we don't want any software to be do downloaded and installed into our computer. We simply click on ASSP because clicking it, it, it will tell us the, this 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 part. Okay. Now this one is developed by India. It is developed by Dr. G P S Raghava who is a scientist and head of the Bioinformatics Center of Institute of Microbial Technology uh, so this is the request form of them and if you put the sequence here if you paste your sequence so let, let us remember the first sequence that you've taken is this one the human prion protein so you copy the sequence simply post the sequence here the name of the protein say human prion protein and the format of the file is selected as amino acids then then let's say run the process this is called the server error I don't know why because so simply now run it's a server error so So how we can uh, predict the secondary structure of a protein? Secondary structure of the protein can be uh, predicted using many different softwares. I utilize Fire Square, Fire 2 software for analyzing the protein structure. So we'll click on the Fire first link. It will take us to the Fire Protein Fold Recognition tool. It is called the Fire Square. It is a very very good tool for predicting the structure. Now you can put your email ID here, amino acid sequence here, so let us put the sequence. This one is our sequence. So we put our sequence which we've taken here and saved into our computer. So we take, copy it and paste it here. Here it is our job title. It's say prion protein structure. Let us write human prion protein structure. And the modeling mode is normal it can be of int intensive you, if you click it so uh, let's click it to the normal which is default now simply click fire search it will start searching it says badly formed email address so let us do the form say let's type the email address because they want it so let us type this email address and let's click to the submission of the form it will take you to the job description it is telling you that the estimated time for processing is 1.6 to 1.4 hours but actually you can see 178 jobs are running now and my j uh, and zero jobs are in queue so my job is also running with them so after every 30 seconds it will uh, update the server automatically and it will give us the number of jobs which is running so we need to wait for completion of this 170 jobs so it is a pretty pretty busy site now we get it uh, here it is the link will be result will be published here so this is the beginning from our result and here will be our end 
so first is the finding of homology then they will find several things and then they will give to uh, the answer okay so we can pause here for a moment because it will take some time i don't recommend you to just uh, tiredly looking onto this computer screen so simply uh, make a pause of the video at this point then we will be seeing it later okay okay now here we go uh, our sequence is now processed it will take a longer time it will take almost 40 minutes to process our sequence and it provides us the sequence of our desire now this is the sequence uh, secondary structure of our sequence which we have just provided and it cover only 56% of our whole sequence remember we provided 253 amino acid sequence so it says a coverage it cover only 56% of our provided sequence but the confidence level uh, at which they are providing us the answer is 100% so whatever they are cover but the sequence they are providing us is the exact structure of our protein which is prion protein it is providing us the exact structure of the prion protein which is really really important they cover only 142 residues of uh, the uh, 1 uh, 253 residues so it take only 56 percent but confidence level is really important so if you get a higher confidence level you must stick to it you can take this result and include it, this data with your research facility now what we can do here we can uh, download this data by clicking this picture simply clicking this picture will take us to the download uh, page for that okay now why they cannot predict the rest of the 54 uh, percent of the data because it suggests that 55 percent of your sequence is predicted disordered disordered regions cannot be meaningfully predicted that's why they fail to predict the disordered region we can view this 3d structure in the web or also we can download the structure in our uh, computer to visualize it with this uh, with a visualizing software say jmol or rasmol like that now we can download this whole data sheet with this pdf, PDF uh, downloader and this is the whole data sheet this segment of our amino acid produce the alpha helix this segment is uh, this this green color segments are producing alpha helices and the yellow segments produces uh, so this is the confidence key as you can see so let us download it Confidence key is the most confident is red region and as we are going toward the blue region it is less confident. Now in this whole sequence 39% of the sequence is found to be alpha helix, 3% of the sequence is found to be the beta strand and 55% of the rest of the part is disordered according to their nature, according to their report. Now this red thing is pretty confident and this uh, yellow things are uh, slightly less and this blue things are and the purple things are the least confidence regions it can predict the structure very well here okay as you can see here so 90 so 39 percent of the structure is made up alpha helices okay so this is again structural alignment and there are many different models out there depending upon our search so they produce many models not only one but they produce here six models as you can see here six i think more than six models yes they actually produced uh, many models according to our query they produced 31 models here 37 38 40 models approximately among these 40 models they have shown us this model which is let's say this model which is the most suitable model according to them but if you want to get and look for another models or other type of models we can select it so this is the most suitable model because this is having the confidence level 100 and percentage identity with our sequence 98 percent that's why they provide us this model but if you want to study other models we can look for it now if we align all these models together and provide a bunch of model or mixed model we can select this uh, model and we can hit align but we do, don't want it because we want the suitable most suitable modeling now the most suitable modeling is provided here by this first modeling here so we can take this as uh, our result and you can look for uh, the future 3d analysis of this molecule okay so we can visualize the 3d simply using jmol so we must have allowed this jmol applet we allow this 
and it will take some time for loading the java because jmol is a java applet so you can see here 202 residues could be modeled at nine, greater than 90 percent confidence using multiple templates you may wish to try the resubmitting your sequence in an intensive mode to model more of your sequence now whatever we have selected remember at the very beginning of the submission of our tool is simply we provided uh, the one click model right now if we provide the intensive modeling then they will try to cover most of our query sequence approximately greater than 90 percent of our query sequence but in this case we provided the one click model that's why this provide us a simple short sequence or 56 percent of the coverage sequence but if we want to look for the real protein structure, a real analysis of the protein, except for this example queries, uh, we must go for the intensive analysis instead of this one click analysis. Okay, accept and run. We can find this JMOL applet and we can visualize the 3D structure of our protein. So the 3D structure of protein can be visualized using color by secondary structure are using the color depending upon the rainbow uh, color from N terminal to C terminal that is the means uh, the from the uh, the vibgeor color right so here it, as we are seeing it is a rainbow color so this N uh, this blue color region is the N terminal red region is a C terminal from the N terminal it is pretty disordered structure it's no uh, no not such order is seen as we are going on this is the C terminal so you get much more ordered and uh, the alpha helical structure if you look the color its secondary structure you can find this this these red things are uh, the alpha helices these purple things are beta sheets uh, this sorry this yellow color regions are the beta sheets as you can see two beta sheets are seen here uh, anti parallel beta sheets right so one in this direction one another is this direction so two anti parallel beta sheets are there this purple thing is a turn and also loops are there and rest of the part which is white in color is disordered we find pretty high concentration or per percentage of the desired region here okay so that's it and i hope this video is helping you you can download this whole data using one format so you can see here is a link download zip of all results so i recommend you to download uh, all the results in the zip folder in your computer so that you can access all the pictures all the informations when you want to okay or itself you can individually download this data by clicking on this PDF report it will be saved onto the computer using a PDF or creating a PDF okay so that's it and I hope it will help you thank you